Hey, what's going on guys? I just want to give an update on my 98 Mustang Cobra. You can tell the engine is all put back together again. I did try to film all this stuff, but for some reason my videos got deleted, erased. But I apologize for that. But the turbo is in. It's been in for two weeks now. The wastegates are all put in. I don't know if you can see, yeah, you can see one there. The ABS pump modular had to come out. I had no other option. I'm going to delete it, but that's gonna, just going to be for the summer. Next year, I'm going to get all new lines made and try to think of maybe making a new bracket or something. But that's just temporarily. But yeah, the turbo's all in. Got my um, protector there in the front. Right there, my fingers pointed. It's a uh, NGR mesh. But, but yeah, this is not today's video though. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be doing next. The caster camber plates are in. I don't know if you can see that. The coilovers are in. The BMRA arms. Control arms are in. I got new wheel bearings for it. So those are in. I got new brake, copper washers, and banjo bolt for that. <clears throat> but today's video is this piece right here. I just put this on two minutes ago, so I thought maybe I would record it. I do have heat wrap, and I had it on all this stuff, but it was cheap eBay stuff, so it started falling apart. So I'm going to be buying the better brand and better quality to wrap this piece right here where my finger is. And I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with these lines here. I believe these are power steering lines. I got some heat tape to put on those. But yep, this is what we're doing today right here. You gotta make sure this piece here is square. What do I mean by that? You gotta make sure it's even with the housing right here. It can't be off because you have leaks. So it's getting there. August 11th is my deadline. I'm going to get it dynoed and tuned. On the supercharger, it made 352 horsepower and 364 foot pounds of torque. And that had two vacuum leaks and a messed up timing chain. And I didn't know that. <clears throat> and I still had the um, factory IMRC deletes in. So I got rid of those and put aftermarket in. So, And it does have stage two comp cams. With uh, This motor is built. It does have uh, ARP head studs that came with a car already. And I had uh, aftermarket springs, which I didn't know none of that. And I had valve spring retainers from Crowder. And the springs, I believe, are from Crowder too. <clears throat> but, yep. And it's got Steeda underdrive pulleys. But, all right, let's get back to the video. So you want to use, let's see if it'll focus here, a 12 millimeter. I got a ratcheting wrench because it'd be easier. I don't know if I can do this and hold my phone or not, but I don't know, might not be able to. So 
might have to set you guys down just for one second. I apologize for that so I can get this tight real quick. But maybe I can set my phone up where you can see it or something. Right here maybe. If it doesn't fall. Sorry about that guys. Yeah, it's not gonna stay. No, nope. let me try something, hold on. Try to put a wrench behind it or something. No, it's not gonna stay, you guys. Yeah, you can still see the pipe, but you can't see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna get it tightened up real quick. Make sure it's square. Oh, it's the wrong wrench. I gotta grab the correct one. Hold on, guys. I'm sorry, this video is not gonna be the greatest, but I'm gonna set you guys like that for a second. So I get this tight down. I wanna make sure it's nice and square with each other. Tighten this down real quick. There it goes. As soon as I get it a little bit tight, I can give you guys a back up here. I'm sorry you guys are seeing my battery, but I just gotta get this tight real quick. Sorry about that, but yeah, you can see it. I hope my phone can focus. There you guys go. I'm gonna straighten this out a little bit. Oh, but yeah, I still gotta do the other coil over on the driver's side. I still gotta do a lot of other stuff. I gotta get the intercooler in. The piping. If you guys like this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments, leave your comments down below and I'll answer you guys' questions. Make sure, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit that bell. It's right next to the subscribe button. Share this video. But yeah, I can't wait to get, get this car done. I haven't driven it. It's been raining a lot so i can't really work on the car and film and do stuff but make sure you guys watch out for the next video but yeah i want to show you one more thing before i let you guys go i got a aftermarket dipstick tube i did order a new one a ford factory one but i couldn't get it in because all the stuff's on there and i'm not going to take the header off Or the motor mount or dropped can't I'm not doing all that. So I just bought this for temporarily until I put the other one in. Um, thank you and uh, have a great day.